Right. They're small, but they're loud in some parts of Georgia. The cry of the cicada has prompted 911 calls. Yeah, it's the time of the year for them to emerge from underground. But why do they crawl beneath our feet for so long with such a loud voice when they come out? Here's our why guy. They're roughly the size of a pocket knife with a mating cry that can be as loud as a motorcycle. There are 15 different broods of cicada, including the one getting all the attention this year. After 17 years in hiding, Brood X is arriving to fill the air with a sound that can't be ignored. Let's examine why these noisy insects spend most of their lives underground. There are broods that come out of hiding every year. Others wait 13 or 17 years. Chib White of Arrow Exterminators tells us cicadas burrow into the soil to grow and mature. They're tunneling under there, they're feeding on the roots, uh, the juices from the roots. It's how um, they progress from their different nymphal stages to their final adult stage. Underground, cicadas hide from predators. They remain until the soil temperature tells them it's time to come out. They emerge wearing a protective outer shell that they shed once they're hiding again beneath the foliage of nearby trees. That's where they cry out every night, a 100 decibel search for companionship. So it's like a mating call or a mating signal, and it gets quite loud. They survive just long enough to reproduce. After years spent maturing underground, adult cicadas live only a few months. Females lay their eggs in the trees. The next generation of cicadas then drop and burrow underground to begin the lengthy process of maturing into adults. They aerate the soil, they provide vital nutrients to the soil, they provide a lot of nitrogen for trees. Cicadas do little to no damage to your yard or plants. They're more helpful than harmful, except that is, when it comes to your ears.